Tom. Hello everybody, Tom Fox here, welcoming you to Fire Emblem Three Houses. At the time of this recording and at the time this video should be coming out, this game is brand new, just released today, so I've got nothing to go on with it. I'd like to give a quick shout out to my patrons on Patreon for their continued support of my content and this channel. Uh, their names should be scrolling across the screen right now. If you wish to become a patron of my content, you can check out the uh, the link on the top right corner of the screen, link in the description, or link at the end of the video. Some of you are probably wondering where uh, Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker is for the rest of those episodes. Well, that's on hiatus for now. The rest of the episodes uh, will be coming, or episodes will start coming back again once uh, this Let's Play is finished. When I say finished, I probably mean uh, finishing the main story. We'll have to see how it goes. I don't really have too many plans for going into this quite yet. But, that actually may come a little bit quicker than you think, because for the first six episodes of this, we're, I'm going to be releasing this as a daily series. So, uh, so yeah. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I got going on. Let's do it, start a new game. We're going to be playing on normal, and we're going to be playing on classic. Let's connect to the network to, for online play. Call the Red Canyon. You'll die. <clears throat> die. Die. You took everything that I loved. could have brought you here. <sighs> oh, I wonder how you got in here. It is most rude to interrupt a moment of repose. <sighs> Very 
rude indeed. Now come to me. I wish to have a look at you. So if you haven't noticed already, this game is voice acted. Uh, I will be turning off the voice acting in, uh, uh, after this episode. But, uh, let me know in the comments if you prefer it with it on. The reason I turn off the voice acting is because I prefer to do the voices myself. Uh, gives me something to do and it gives me a little bit, a little bit of an extra flair that you don't see with many other Let's Players. Anyway, I am male. Hmm, I have not seen the likes of you before. Who are you anyway? I am but a mortal. I see. Then you must have a name of sorts. Go on. My name? Well, Byleth seems to be the default name, but I've thought a little bit on this, so my name is going to be... Can you not? Huh. I shall not ever grow accustomed to the sound of human names. Right. Human. You must possess a day of birth as well. Beneath which moon and on what day were you born to this world? So originally, I was going to set this to be the day that I started playing this game, which is July 26th. But I kind of want to see, I, I want to see something because I uh, had a failed recording of this. So I want to see what happens if I select a different date for this. This is my actual birthday, March 9th. Wow, wonders never cease. It seems we share our day of birth. How strange. Hmm. It all feels so... familiar. I think it may be time for... yet another nap. It is almost time to... begin. All right, so my uh, my suspicions were confirmed hey, there. Time to wake up. Were you having that dream again? I was dreaming about a young girl. You've described her to me before. I don't think I've ever met anyone like that. In any case, just put that out of your mind for now. The battlefield is no place for idle thoughts. Risking your life is part of the job for mercenaries like us. Letting your mind wander is a sure way to get yourself killed. Okay, time to get moving. Our next job is in the kingdom. I told you before, it's far from here, so we'll need to leave at dawn. Of course. Hmm? Oh, good grief. Everyone is already waiting for us outside. Gerald, sir, sorry to barge in, but your presence is needed. What's happened? Please forgive our intrusion. We wouldn't bother you with a situation not dire. What do a bunch of kids like you want at this hour? We're being pursued by a group of bandits. I can only hope that you will be so kind as to lend your support. Bandits? Here? It's true. They attacked us while we were at rest in our camp. We've been separated from our companions and we're outnumbered. They're after our lives, not to mention our gold. I'm impressed you're staying so calm considering the situation. I... Wait, that uniform... Bandit spotted just outside the village. Damn, there were a lot of them. I guess they followed you all the way here. We can't abandon this village now. Come on, let's move. Hope you're ready. A skirmish at dawn. Prologue, an inevitable encounter. Let's take care of those thieves before they overrun the village. Take down the enemies in front first. That should take the wind out of their sails. Movement! Select a unit to move ahead to next to an enemy. While a unit is next to an enemy, com uh, the command window will open. To attack, select the attack command and choose a weapon. So since this is the first mission here, it's going to be rather easy. I'll let the tutorial explain things as we go on here, but we seem to have every single um, basic physical weapon type. Sword, lance, axe, and bow. And while we have Gerald in our, as an ally, we cannot control him ourselves. 
Uh, the thing I was talking about before where I wanted to get some, uh, some, uh, clarity on was I set my birthday to the day this game came out. But, uh, I, uh, and that, uh, mainly, like, I wanted to see, I said to a different birthday to see if she would still say that, the, that we share the same birthday. And she did, so, yeah. We're gonna start by having Dimitri move next to this guy, and select the attack. Just the simple Iron Lance attack, it'll leave him with 5 HP while Dimitri takes, uh, 5, uh, 5 health himself. Gets a little bit of experience points and we're good. Weapon durability. A weapon will break when repeated use brings its durability to zero. You could fight with a broken weapon, but your might and hit rate will be reduced. And enemies will make follow-up attacks more easily. Be careful with your weapons, you cannot repair them mid-battle. So, to get as much movement as possible, we're gonna finish this guy off with Eld with uh, Edelgard. Edelgard, unfortunately, uh, if you know your weapons triangle, unfortunately is on the disadvantaged side of that, so she will not has have as good of accuracy to be able to strike. 80% damage still isn't bad, or 80% chance to hit still isn't bad. For those of you new to the Fire Emblem series, the weapons triangle goes that lances are good against swords, swords are good against axes, axes are good against lances. Battle menu. To use the battle menu to create a bookmark saves, view tutorial guides, uh, and more to act, uh, or use it, rather. To access it, press the A button when the cursor is in a space without a unit. Once all your units have taken action, the player phase ends and the enemy phase begins. You can end the player phase early by selecting end from the battle menu. Okay, so, there's actually something I do want to take care of here really quick. So we can see our units, we can see a list of our units, Canyonot, Edelgard, Dimitri, and Claude. We also have the win conditions. Defeat the enemy commander is our win condition. Uh, and uh, our defeat condition is if any of our units fall. Fortunately, our units are much more powerful than the units we're fighting up or fighting against currently, so we don't have to worry about that. Guide, that just teaches you about combat, basically repeats tutorials that you've heard before. And bookmark creates a save in the middle of a battle that you can re-up uh, up at any time. The problem is, uh, is that once you uh, open it up again, you can't load from it again. And options. I'm actually gonna fool around with some of these for uh, for a little bit here, um, with various uh, uh, things here. But I'll I'll give you the the tour of what I uh, what I changed uh, once we're once we're uh, finished. Okay. So what I changed is that combat animations on our turn. So only when it's our turn will it do the zoom in. Otherwise, it'll just be little avatars on the uh, the grid fighting it out. Assist animations I turned off because otherwise uh, it seems like a kind of a waste of time to have like the long animation play out for healing and dancing and whatnot. Battle speed fast, just so we can get a move on. And uh, I think that was everything I changed on here. I also turned down the voice volume. I'm hoping it doesn't turn down the voice volume in battles, just for when people are talking. If it does uh, end up doing that, I'll turn the voice volume back on. And I'll try to uh, see if I can get it off for, for cutscenes and whatnot. But anyway, let's get back to the battle. We still have a ways to go here, so combat bows. Bows can attack from a long range, although their hit rate is reduced, reduced as range increases. They're highly effective against flyers like Pegasus Knights and Wyverns. So bows have changed up in this game where they no longer just have a range of one or two. They actually have much more of a range, but you take a penalty to your hit if you're farther away. Move him here and wait. And we'll move uh, Kenyanot here. And also, just to go over some other things here, we have trade, where if we're uh, standing adjacent to a unit, we could trade items, and convoy, where if you're playing as the, if you're controlling the main character, you can get items from your your convoy, and also, uh, you know, get uh, other members of your party can access it if they're close to you. Enemy phase. Well, we uh, we'll advance while protecting ourselves from the enemy. Take a position inside the forest. Terrain effects. Certain terrain will have effects uh, on the unit occupying it. Force, for instance, uh, for instance, raise a unit's evasion and defense. Move your units to advantageous terrain and prepare to meet the enemy. Which is exactly what we're going to do here. Just to continue the trend, we can see what. Uh, oh no! We, until we're not until we're in their ra uh, their range can we see what our uh, how our enemies are going to strike. So. So far, only Dimitri and Edelgard can actually enter the, uh, the terrained, uh, area here. So what we're gonna do is we'll have Edelgard move here and wait. Every unit's gonna go for Edelgard. Yes, good. If we're in a forest, we can sustain their attacks without losing the advantage. Terrain types. Forests are not the only ty terrain type you'll encounter. Keep an eye out for others such as thicket and heel tiles. 
You can see the effects of terrain by placing your cursor over it. Press the X button on an empty space to toggle terrain, information, and unit icons. We'll move Dimitri up to this terrain and wait. We'll move Canyonot over here. And I believe, yes, Canyonot can talk to, to his uh, fellow, uh, fellow teammates here. Let's start with Edelgard. You have a strange aura about you. You say you're a mercenary, uh, so show me what you can do. We can wait for now. I think we can also get another conversation here with Claude and, uh, and Kenyonot. It's because of guys, uh, it's because of you guys that I'm not dead right now. Thanks for that. I didn't expect to run into mercenaries like you in some remote village. The gods of fortune must be smiling on me. Alright, enemy phase. We have the advantage from the terrain, so let's see how it goes. They missed Edelgard and we get a nice, decent chunk of damage towards the enemy. That one attacks Can You Not. Hello, I just noticed Edelgard healed a little bit. Or did Can You Not heal? Right, so far so good with everything that's been going on here. Ally phase? So far nothing. With the player phase. This is a fine op opportunity. Use the combat arts I taught you. Combat arts are powerful techniques that use more weapon durability than usual. They do not typically allow for follow-up attacks. Units learn new combat arts when their weapon skill level goes up. There are no combat arts for reason or faith. Those grant skill uh, those skills grant magic instead. So it seems like everybody's gonna be targeting uh gonna be targeting Claude next turn. And just to get Claude a little bit more experience, how is his aim from here? I can only attack this guy. I guess they can only be straight ahead then. They can't be at an angle. Or wait, hold on. Maybe I can check the item. Iron bow. Uh, details. Range of two. Okay, so, uh, so I was wrong about that before. My apologies. It's a range of two, but I can attack from one space away as well. If I come over here, I can just attack immediately, right? Yeah, nope. Nope, it's just a range of two. So what was it saying before about being farther away and having less, uh, less aim? I, I misunderstood that tip, uh, uh, a lot. Uh, oh, however, the curve shot allows me to get more range on this. All right, so. If that's the case, let's give the curve, let's, uh, give curve shot a try. And we're gonna end up going for this guy over here. Curve shot. We get a little bit of a sample of uh, of three of our units' uh, combat arts here. Blood seems to be full of himself. So it seems like that with the voice volume off, they don't talk during uh during uh cutscenes like that. So. Hmm. I'm gonna have Edelgard. Oh, there's a rock right there, okay. I'm gonna have Edelgard use her, uh, her Iron Axe there. I kinda have to make a decision here whether or not I want to, uh... Well, Edelgard leveled up, so that's good. I need to make a decision here as to whether or not I want to, uh... It's a long road yet. Keep the voice volume off even during combat, or turn it on for combat and turn it off when we're doing cutscenes and whatnot. If a, if a decision like that is made, then I'll just end up, uh... I'll just end up turning down the voice volume when I know a cutscene's coming up or something along those lines and just cut that out. Thank you. We are in your debt. It, it wouldn't do for us to fall in a place like this. Please, lend us your strength. Let's work together to drive out these thieves. Right. Can you not? We'll... You know, we'll, we'll have him use Wraith Strike. Actually, no, I think I already did that before because I'm down 3 HP. Or maybe I didn't. Either way, I'm gonna do this anyway. A little bit there, and our enemies run away from us. Select the item options. Uh, the items options to change your equipment, weapon, or to use items such as Volterrary, which restores your unit's HP. Enemy phase. Damn! Why are these mercenaries in the village? Guess we'll have to deal with them too. Ally phase. Geralt is coming up. I like Geralt. Item drops. An item icon in the enemy indicates you'll get the item that is highlighted green in the unit's detail display when you defeat them. 
So if we come over here to look at uh, Costas. We hit X and uh, we see that we're going to get his Iron Axe should we beat him. That shouldn't be too bad of a thing. It is a fine thing. I can move him from uh, from place to place here. Hmm. I don't want to be at a terrain disadvantage, but I can't move him into the bush there. So for now, we'll move him over here and wait. Move Dimitri up here and wait. Uh, Claude can come in behind Dimitri. And Edelgard can come up behind, uh, behind Kenyonot. I'm gonna kill you where you stand! He missed! Chunking his HP a little bit there. Good, good. Here come some other opponents, ducking and falling into rank behind their, uh, their captain there. Our allies come into play. Attack when an ally is nearby, and the enemy will be intimidated, making them easier to hit. When you attack an enemy that is also in attack range of one or more of your other units, you will trigger a linked attack. During linked attacks, your avoid rate and hit rate will are higher than normal. Linked attacks uh, between certain units might also raise might. Good use of linked attacks is key to defeating powerful enemies. Linked attacks also build support among the units involved. He can't move far. How far can Dimitri move? Dimitri can move up here. Let's go ahead and use Tempest Lance so we can take out this guy in one blow. Bam! 21 hit points down. Dimitri levels up. I will get stronger yet. One, two, three. I can hit him with Curve Shot if I move here. The Iron Bow Curve Shot, it will not kill, but it will deal a nice chunk of damage to him. My hope is to try and get as many, as much experience out of this as possible, but uh, but if the, uh, if the goal is to defeat the commander, I probably won't be able to get that chance. Both of them are gonna go to attack, uh, can you not? If I use a combat art, that probably won't be enough to take this guy. Oh, will! Oh, because he, he fought the other guy. Probably a standard attack would be able to. I'm gonna go with the standard attack on this one. Hey, you with the blank stare! Out of my way! Ooh, that does a lot. Fortunately, it's not, it's not gonna be enough to kill, so we should be fine there. And unfortunately, items can only be used on oneself, so that's not gonna work out. If they both gang up on Claude, I'm gonna be very mad. mad. All right, well, fortunately, this is over. He had a 32% chance to hit, and he hit both times. We must all do our part. Receive the Iron Axe, and the last thief goes away. What are you accomplishing with that little stunt? It's like you're trying to get me killed, you fool. <sighs> well, it's fine. After all, if you don't know the value of your own life, you're not going to protect it very well, are you? Of course not. <laughs> well then, I guess it's up to me to guide you from now on, right? You can call me Sothis. But I'm also known as The Beginning. Hmm... Sothis. Yes, that is it. My name is Sothis. And I am also called... The Beginning. But who once called me that? Sothis? I was not able to recall my name until just now. And just like that, it came to me. How odd. That look upon your face. Did you think me a child? A mere child who forgot her own name? Fooey! That child just saved your life, and what does that make you? 
I'm less than a child. Correct. You understand. You threw yourself before an axe to save just one young girl. Yet all is well as I have stalled the flow of time for now. You would have died had I not intervened. Thank you. I'm not going to question it. There now. Is gratitude so much to ask? I did deem you your, uh, you worth saving after all. Though it is only momentary, time has stopped. How, however did I manage that? Uh, what happens when time resumes? When time begins again, the axe will tear into your flesh and you will surely meet your end. Oh, that's not good. How rude of you to drag me into this. Now what to do? Turn back the hands of time, keep time frozen until I'm safe. Just stay here and wait to die. If I could turn back time! Of course, I must turn back the hands of time. Oh, some of that's in English. It is, oh, I can't read it. It is something over, oh boy. The goddess always lives in heaven and F, F something. Some of the, the words in the middle aren't English. Living beings as support of all, can't read that. Yes, I do believe it can be done. You really are quite troublesome. I cannot wind time back too far, but all is well. You are aware of what's to come, which means you could protect yourself this time. Now go. Yes, you who bears the flame within. Drift through the flow of time and find the answers that you seek. Hey, did you just... The Knights of Seros are here! We'll cut you down for terrorizing our students. Hey, the thieves are running away! Go after them! The students seem to be unharmed, and who's this? Ugh, why him? Stage complete. Uh, we completed at turn five, and the MVP was, of course, can you not? As it connects to the internet, I guess we see. Nope, I guess nothing. All right, let's go ahead and save our data. Most deployed, Edelgard seems to be at top. Captain Gerald, it is you. Goodness, it's been ages. Do you recognize me? It's Alois, your old right-hand man. Well, that's how I always thought of myself anyway. Yeah, it must have been 20 years ago that you went missing without a trace. I always knew you were still alive. You haven't changed a bit, Alois. Just as loud as ever. And drop that captain nonsense. I'm not your captain anymore. These days, I'm just a wandering mercenary. One who has work to do. Goodbye, old friend. Right. Goodbye, captain. Wait. This isn't how it ends! I insist that you return to the monastery with me! Garrig Mach Monastery. I suppose this was inevitable. And how about you, kid? Are you the captain's child? He's a stranger to me, I'm a bandit, that is correct. You know what, I want to see him like a father figure. Is that so? Well, physical differences aside, your mannerisms do remind me of the captain. <laughs> I'd love to see uh, for you to see the monastery too. You will join me, won't you? I didn't even get a say in that. <sighs> What's troubling you, captain? You aren't about to run off again, are you? Even if, even I wouldn't dare run from the Knights of Saros. The Knights of Saros. They do seem rather skilled. Ah, seems your presence is required. Get going. I have
appreciate your help back there. Your skill is beyond question. You're clearly an experienced mercenary, and your father, that would be Gerald, the Blade Breaker? Former captain of the Knights of Saros, off praise of the highest knight to ever live. Have I missed anything? The Knights of Saros? I didn't know he was a captain. How curious. I'd wager the explanation for that is fascinating indeed. Hey, uh, uh, you are coming, with the uh, coming to the monastery with us, right? Of course you are. I'd love to bend your ear as we travel. Oh, I should mention that the three of us are students of the Officers Academy at Garagmach Monastery. We were doing some training exercise when those bandits attacked. I definitely got the worst of it. That would be because you ran off. Too true. I was the first to make a strategic retreat. Everything would have worked out too. Uh, it worked out if these two hadn't followed me and ruined everything. Because of them, every single one of those bandits chased after us. Utterly ridiculous. Ah, so that's what you were thinking, Claude. And here I thought you were acting as a decoy for the sake of us all. His intentions were as clear as day. You will prove a lack of, uh, uh, you will prove a lacking ruler if you cannot see the truth behind a person's words. <laughs> you, you will prove a lacking ruler yourself if you, uh, look for deceit behind every word and fail to trust those whom you rely on. Oh joy, a royal debate between their highnesses. I wonder how being completely predictable affects one's ability to wield power. Personally, as the embodiment of distrust, I'd say your little exchange smacks, uh, smacks of naivete. Me? Naive? Tell me, are you actually ca incapable of be keeping quiet, or is your lack of self-awareness a condition of some sort? In any case, forgive our di uh, digression. I must speak with you if, if you can spare a moment. The way you held your ground against the bandit's leader was captivating. You never lost control of the situation. It showed me I still have much to learn. Your skill is precisely why I must consider, uh, ask you to consider lending your services to the Empire. I might as well tell you now, I am no mere student. I am also addressed, uh, the Adrestrian Empire's... Halt, Eld Edelgard. Please allow me to finish my own proposition. The Holy Kingdom of Fergus is in dire need of exceptional individuals like yourself. Please do consider returning to, in, to the kingdom with me. Whoa there! You, you two sure are hasty, trying to recruit someone you just met. Tactless, really. I was personally planning on developing a deep and lasting friendship on our journey back to the monastery before begging for favors. But... Seems like there's no time for niceties in this world. So, capable stranger, let's get right to it. Where does your allegiance lie? Hmm. It seems one's place of birth is quite significant to them. Yet they are so impressed by you that you may take your pick. Well? Oh man, they're forcing this on me already. Adrestrian Empire. Land of ancient uh, history. Holy Kingdom of Fargus. Land of Noble Knights, or the Leicester Alliance, Burgeoning League of Nobles. Hmm. Dimitri kind of seems boring. Am I choosing my Pokemon Go team? Because if that's the case, I might as well be at the Ed Edrestrian Empire since I'm on Team Valor in Pokemon Go. And on top of that, Claude seems very much like Spark. Dimitri seems very much like, uh, oh, I, forget, I, I can't remember all their names, but... They all bear striking resemblance to each of the Pokemon Go team leaders. Eh, screw it, I'll go instinct. Is that right? Well, that's a win for the Alliance. So I suppose I'm obligated to be happy. Alright, that's enough of the small talk. Time to head back to the monastery. Looks like we'll have to pick this up another time. My, my. They are in such a hurry, you know. Each of the of the three is most unique. Edelgard. She is a refined young woman. But I feel as though she is always evaluating me. He seems quite sincere. But I sense darkness lurking beneath. His easy smile is striking. But that smile doesn't reach his eyes. Yes, I thought the same. I am so sleepy once again. I may be sleeping, but I... Next time on Fire Emblem Three Houses! We're gonna continue on to Chapter 1. See you all then! Later!